over. I gotta grab a grab. Pretty, pretty dirty. All right, so big mats out. Now what we're gonna do? Driver's side. Well, at least for the American side, you've got these two kind of big knobby screws. Yeah, you just turn them so they're vertical. Yeah, and then underneath you've got these two little uh, twist tabs that. Again, once the arrows are pointing up, then the tabs are they're disengaged, and that's it. And that comes off like that. That's the first one. Put it off to the side. All right. Uh, next one that naturally comes off is the battery. Next one is the battery box. That's just a panel. And then there's a courtesy panel underneath in case you want to store some illicit materials because that sits over that. And then you have just like this nice little taper thing, perhaps some flat packages, some blackmail letters, whatever it is that you're into. Um, this one's a slightly different. You got the same vertical screw tabs at the top but then down here you've got these anchorages for the netting that goes in the back and that these are a pain these are a pain to get reinstalled because it takes a lot of fiddling um, but getting them out is really simple they're just twists they're really like a half twist and then they come out and then they those are your out of your way and then the next thing you got to do is pull about like straight kind of straight out if you can be bothered you can try to take these out. Yeah, if you can get these bad boys out. Take a little bit of grip strength. These are new ones that I got off of eBay. I'll post a link uh, and pictures of all the parts that I'm using as I'm using them. A lot of them are sourced uh, through eBay. It makes it easy and they don't cost a billion billion dollars because they don't have BMW unicorn tax. So that comes off. You've exposed the battery box now. The next natural thing is going to be disconnecting the battery lead. So what we'll do, BMW has all the battery, well this particular one for the M5s in the back. It's a 13 mil. This is one of the spanners that comes with the uh, with the car kit and I don't know why they decided to put in these giant boat batteries but I guess it takes a million billion crank voltage to get it going so that now that that's done we're pretty much safe to do everything else in the car uh, next step after you get those two sides because it's a bit of a sequential thing in order to get things going properly is excuse me darling is the back panel now this is the tricky one well it's not really tricky it's tricky to film so you've got this back panel has one two and a third one back here same style these ones are are uh, oriented in the opposite direction so they're you got to go horizontal with them and there you go that releases all of that business um, sometimes it's sometimes what it is is you've got you have an issue here uh, in the corner everything's tucked in really nicely this is all the spare like getting the spare on and off so these are the onboard tools I don't know why they've got this in here I mean it holds everything together but it never feels like it's just sitting properly like it's not a snug fit type of thing that comes off good old tire iron what else and then you've got the classic BMW I don't know L 
jack. Yeah, so that comes out. So that will give us, if we go back to our original angle, that gives us now the clearance on the side to just kind of pull that. Once those tabs are off, everything's pretty easy breezy. That get listed. Now, uh, we'll get into bulbs and all this other stuff at a later date. This is just all the rear, uh, rear bulb access. Okay. Now, next on the order is this left-hand panel. Also uses similar kind of twist, these twist ones. Yeah, uses very similar ones. Or they're not similar, they're the exact same thing. So they're not similar. You'll find out that I'm very pedantic about how I'm gonna describe things in life. All right, so these ones come off. Sometimes you need to get them off from the, sometimes they're, well, this one seems like it's in the, I think it's trapped in there, so that's good. That's also trapped in there. All right, so those two unscrew, and then you have uh, a courtesy, courtesy trim here to zhuzh things up. That just kind of comes off, yeah, just easily, because it's just on that pinch weld. So you just kind of slide that out. That comes off. And then, because you've got those tabs off, this disengages, and then we're going over here. Yeah, we're going over here. And that's the wheel well. We're gonna have to get some of that stuff since we're doing a lot of suspension. We're gonna have to take off or loosen up the strut tower bolts, but in any event, that loosens all of that. And you can just pull that. There's a little lip in the back. Um, so it comes out pretty easy. So that's out of there. Then what we do is we swing on over to the other side where the battery box is. Let me get this out of the way. These jack, jack, jack parts. Alrighty. Uh, this is similar to the other one, but now that it's not being captive by the battery box panel, it's very loosey goosey. Uh, it also has a tab. It has a little lip on the other thing. So we might as well just go. I mean, this is going to be a bit of a learning process for me too. I'm not the expert. I've just spent a few years with these cars. Now, if you can notice, there's these tabs. They're just metal tabs. One, two. There's a third one. I didn't bend it because I was lazy and I knew I was going to take the car apart. So here we go. One tab gets bent up enough to just release that panel. And it's going to now want to fall directly onto the camera. Yeah. Ooh, oh, no, missed it. All right, good. So now what I'll do is I will back up a little bit. Okay, so that's what we got. Comes off. There's some metal tabs at the bottom uh, also. Oh God, uh, it's stuck. All right, so now what I gotta do is I gotta dive in here. Dive in here and just see if I can, if I can, if I can get that out. Good, just with the screwdriver and endangering myself. Okay, so that's that. That panel's out. Alrighty. All right. And that brings us to the last one, which should just fall over like a pile of pancakes. There it is. Um, a lot of the parts, a lot of the components you're looking at inside, uh, this is a EVAP system. So this takes vapors from the petrol tank uh, gas if you're in America. I mean, I'm an American. I live in Australia, so I've had to kind of acclimate myself because when I say gas, people think I have some kind of indigestion problem. Um, other things that we're going to take a look at later. That's the panel for the fuel pump. Fuel pump. And that's about it, really. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get in and loosen the we're gonna get in we're gonna loosen the strut towers um, of which we've got 
this side, which is so the driver's side for this left-hand drive, it's much easier to access. Since I'm already here, I'm gonna loosen the strut components. So uh, take the bolts, all but one of them. I've got a 13 mil ratchet spanner because I'm lazy. It's about, oh, uh, it's almost done. There's another one. Get, get, all right. Here's the other one. Now the question is, I'm gonna keep this one. Yeah, good idea. All right, I'm gonna keep this one relatively low, but since it's the most accessible, so when I jack up the car, I don't have to, just wanted to make sure it loosens up. Yeah, man, like you can just see the rust on that. This thing is, most of this stuff is like 28 years old. Never been touched, never been changed. It's got the self-leveling system, which we're gonna be taking out. Now to get myself out of here without breaking something. Like electronic components. Get the other side. Or, I don't know, I'm gonna break the camera. There's this EVAP thing. This is gonna have to come off. Um, and I'll move this aside a little bit. Get that loose. Goose. goose. Yeah, looks like it's taking care of that. Just leave that there. These are. This is my wiring for the stereo system. Put a component in there, trying to keep it as OEM as possible, because it originally ran crossover, but it had like this dinky, dinky, dinky like. Okay. Uh, amplifier? Is that a hard line? It is a hard line. Back there is a hard line. So I literally don't have anywhere to go. Except for like that. So then... What am I gonna do here? I can't go anywhere. Okay. So that means we don't have much... We don't have much room. I think what we can do is just go darn it there we go just wrestle it to where it's like sort of out of the way is that is that lost so, ah. all right so now what we're gonna do get this somewhere where you can a you can see and b i can actually fit without it hurting my neck Peter powder Get at her. All right. There we go. There's one. Just enough. There we go. Yeah. So the self-leveling system, back in the day, they just talk, they talked about it as an active suspension, which is the most hilarious thing in the world. It's like, technically, yes, it's active. Like you put a load on it, it trips the switch. The switch says, hey, you've got this thing overloaded. And then it hydraulically lifts the back end up. And they, for aerodynamic purposes, like it did its job, because if you're on the highway, it does help. So your front end isn't up in the air. But the reality behind it but is nothing about it was active and it actually makes the handling uh, pretty much like cream cheese. Okay. Rear hydraulic stuff. It's been leaking all over the place. So anyways, this is 17 mil. Nut on the bottom of the, this for the self-leveling system. So we're just gonna give that a bit of a loosey. You see, like that. Hopefully it doesn't go spraying everywhere. So that's just going to drain like that. Um, Whatever is in the actual hydraulic tube is going to come out of there uh, and the strut. So that's just going to do that for a while. All right. That's good. Yep, some new stuff. Okay. That's disengaged. So now I can take it off the hook with our caliper. This gets to be rebuilt in another video. Taking this, loosening this nut off first. 
uh, we're gonna wanna we're gonna wanna support this whole thing. So jack stand in the appropriate area to provide a support. A support. This is a 22 milli. Apply the bar of braking. And break. Ugh. I think we have to go up higher. Where is the, where's the next notch? There it is. And sit on it. Oh. Okay. Oh, yeah. Because that bolt goes right into the into the wishbone, yeah? It goes right into this giant metal knuckly thing. So that's that. And... Um, Alright, well now that that's loose, what we'll do is we'll take... I don't get to work on, these car on this car that often, and so I often forget where I was, because... Because parenting. So this is the one that I left when we initially loosened all of them so that I would have the least amount of headache to remove it. So that's done. This is all wibbly wobbly, all this hydraulics out. So really, just need to undo this ginormous bolt with its ginormous washer. Yeah, and then there's a, because this goes into a knuckle, it has a positioning pin. So what you have to do is you actually have to, uh, you gotta push it out, you gotta push it out that way because it has a little uh, lip thingy in there. It doesn't damage it, yeah, so. Tap, tap it, tap it, tap it, tap it, tap it. Oh, all right. Yeah, it's hydraulic oil. All right. Oh no, it's it's peed on the ground. So upon initial inspecciones, it looks like these are gonna have to get changed. Uh, this is covered in hi yeah hydraulic oil and. Because and obviously it's been leaking for, well, I reckon years, to be honest. Yeah, and it's really is this, dirty. Is this label any good? And it, it's really Ooh, dirty. Ooh, it's an original BMW Sach. 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 And, and it's really dusty and mm. dirty, so we need to clean it too. Yeah, we can clean it and, so yeah. We're gonna replace these with some, uh, right. Let's take a look at, where's the hydraulic thing? There, okay, so we'll lean that away. There's the top hat. Ooh, we got all new. That looks fancy. Yeah, we got all these new, new top hats and pieces and everything, so that'll go in nicely. I'm gonna keep this entire strut assembly intact as is. I'm not gonna take it off because to be honest, I'm not going to be using any of it. These uh, spring components are actually shorter than normal springs that you would find on a 535 IS or even uh, E34. Well, any of the E34s because uh, because of the hydraulic component, they're shorter. I'm just giving you a different vantage point. Oh, well, that's how the clip goes. Voices down. Voices down. Okay. So this is a different vantage point for removing the brake line. Um, before you're looking from behind, now you're looking from where the hard line goes in. Um, I'm going to need to go like that and like that and just squeeze the two together. Yeah, that worked remarkably well. Um,
So, yeah, that clip's getting nice and loosey goosey now. That's what I'm gonna wanna fall out. Yeah, mm hmm. Oh, it's on this side. Oh, it's between the clip and the other things. It's not even on the back panel, is it? No, no, it isn't. Okay, good to know, good to know. For for reference points, it's it's all on the hard line side. So if I get the hard line moved back a little bit, I can drop things. Yeah, so that's that. Actually, I'll keep that. So that'll maybe. I got it. Something else I'm going to make a note on. These cables here that are part of the anti, the ABS system, so the one that this little doohickey is connected to is on this wire. Um, I mean, you can keep it in that position. It will probably annoy you to no end, like it is annoying me now. Um, but there's, for the M5 in particular, there's little, hooky things that are everywhere um, because of what we took apart earlier so you can if you want you can do that you can find a hook somewhere just kind of gently lay that in there so it's up and out of the way up and at them. Up and at them. Um, up and at them. What is that? Oh, these are. I think these are evap lines here that come from the charcoal canister. See how it goes into that hard line? And then you've got fuel. This is all fuel, 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 fuel pump, fuel filter. This is a new fuel pump. But you don't care because I didn't show you how to do it. Oh, no, way, because I'm going to have to pull up and flip the car over. There we go. All right. The line Robin. Oh, no. There it is. Bingo. Bingo. We're going to levitate ourselves. Yeah, so there we've taken that off. Done some tidying up over there. The brake caliper is now off and not hanging off of the strut. We'll mosey on over to the anterior thorax of the car. It's covered in dust because we've got firestorms all over Sydney. Everything's covered in ash. Let's need to lose it on the, okay. Son of a, how did it fly to the back? Take out the big bolt, right? Big bolt is out. The nice thing about these, again, you're looking at an E28, right? But this is all, all this stuff translates to E34. So just give it a little boom, boom, little boom, boom, boom. See that little, see how that, the tab there? Oh, it weighs a billion pounds because it's hydraulic. It's also pretty hairy, like look at that. Uh, it's like a mummy that's trying to get out of his wrapping. Uh, 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 uh. Alright, wishbones next.